Hey Taurus, it's the High Priestess with your general tarot reading. It's a general, so if it resonates with you, leave me some comments. Like, share, and subscribe to the Crohn's Way channel. I would appreciate it. If you have subscribed, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Thank you for all the comments, the likes, and the shares. Okay. And if you want to book a personal, click the description box. Please, y'all, join me on Patreon, okay, to contribute to the growth of the channel and to the community of Crohn's. Um, also, tap the bell, y'all, so you notify when I go live, okay, because I'm doing free readings all summer, okay? Get you a candle and some crystals from the website, www.crohn's.com. You can click the description box below. It's going to take you there, okay? shop with me also it'll be a link somewhere like during the video it says shop okay get your crystals get your aura your frequencies to rise okay if you ain't if you uh if you a man or woman what else you gonna be especially a woman because we have bags like but men like my son he carries his crystals in his pockets like even my son on the game y'all and he 12 y'all like what is y'all out here doing i know that i know y'all wake up sometimes and just be in a funk because i i i I, I hear all the time, y'all, I'm a comment watcher. People wake up. I wake up in a great mood. You know why? Because I sleep with crystals. I just always woke up in a great mood, okay? And if I do wake up and don't feel well, I know it's like like a greater force that's just like trying to send frequencies. Like, that's what they doing to us, y'all. These mass, like, shootings and stuff, they're not happening for nothing, y'all. Get y'all some crystals. Control your energy, your aura, Okay. You might need to clear some energy up out there that you don't know is there, stuck in there. Get y'all some crystals. I also got sage, Florida water, all of that, okay? Also, join me on Patreon and got the crystals and sage. I mean, crystals and candles. What else? I think that's it. Oh, uh, use my discount code to get some good skincare products. Okay, Taurus, Summer Rising, and Venus placements. Y'all might got some toxicity going on when it comes to like a person that you, some of y'all could feel like this person is your soulmate. And I don't know why people be, I wish people would get off of that. Like, cause it'd be all types of soulmates that we run into. Like a soulmate is literally people that we make contracts with. You know how many people, how many soulmates you done had? People be fixed on one person. Like, is he my soulmate? Like, get over it. <laughs> <laughs> but some of y'all could be like attached to a person and you might feel like they your soulmate but i feel like they not they just toxic queen king of swords at the bottom i feel like some of y'all could have a person that is just like playing y'all the, the king of swords like they playing y'all like they your soulmate they really know what they doing they they being toxic and they know it okay i feel like for some of you some of you could have uh like a new business idea that you really love and you've been just like waiting on this time to like start this new business or for some of you it's a new relationship you've been waiting on this waiting to uh start this new relationship and the will of fortune is here so i feel like it's you're going to be very fortunate very successful some of you really need to just uh stick to the script stay focused stick to your plans when it comes to whatever it is that you're working on because i feel like you're going to be really overflowing with a lot of like people's want to give you like a lot of love and show you like a lot of appreciation for whatever it is that you uh whatever business you're doing okay i feel like you've been thinking about this for a while what other messages are there for taurus taurus sun rising and venus placement the sun card, but the sun is kind of reversed. So for some of you, and I see the two of the, the pinnacles. So some of you, you could be like hot and cold, like in and out when it comes to you, like putting your all into it. I feel like whatever it is you're working on, whether it's a business, whether you just met someone, because I feel like some of y'all just like met a person with this ace of cup and a six of cup is like feeling like real love. But I feel like some of you is like, the person could do something and or they may not call you or something like that and then you like you you could be like on in or out or off, turn get turned off and on like really easy and i feel like the sun is here it's a very it's, um a very it's a good thing that you have going on but i feel like you balance your emotions you need to balance your emotions what other message strength card yeah so have strength and that's double leo energy so have strength this king of swords coming up again 
So for some of you, you could even have like a person. I feel like it's a per person just like uh, kind of like plotting you. They not just they're not like this soulmate that they think or that you think or that they're trying to proclaim. Like y'all could have like yeah we're soulmates. Like no, this person is not. This person is being manipulative and they know what they're doing. I feel like they have a trick up their sleeve. And with the strength card, I feel like they could be not um, honest about everything that they're telling you. So it could be some things about this person that you met. It feels like uh, you met them in a in a past life. And they could just be a soulmate, but just somebody that is here to show you. Not one of them twin flames like to where like y'all just meant to be together and is and it's awesome. Like, no, the sun is in reverse. This is not this is not that. Okay. And I feel like some of y'all is just like really thinking that it is, but this person really is playing on your um playing with your head. What other messages are there for Taurus? Six of Sword and a Nine of Sword. Okay. So for some of you, you could be like having talks about like moving in with your person or your person moving in with you. But I feel like they could be like lying. Your person is lying about some things. And I feel like with the Nine of Swords, like you know it. Whatever it is that you that y'all discussing, it could be about y'all moving in together, y'all splitting bills, whatever it is, like this person, I feel like they not all in it. And with the Six of Swords, you're going to end up like probably walking away from this person because you already know that it's some things about this person that's just like not adding up, okay? I feel like they being like a yes ma'am or, or yes sir, like they they agreeing is too much in agreeance. They could be too much in agreeance with you and I feel like y'all know that, okay? Ace of Pentacles is here. Ace of Pentacles is here. So I feel like for some of y'all, this this is an opportunity. I feel like, and then it's the Eight of Cups at the bottom. This is an opportunity for y'all to be able to decipher when people, when people come into your life and they and they too willing to give this or give that. I feel like y'all, my message. It's I feel like y'all use a clear use judgment. I feel like because the queen that king of sword keep coming up. So I feel like some of y'all really need to uh, make sure you pay attention to not what people say, but also what they do. Okay, because for some of you, you could be you could be uh, just more giving to this person. I feel like you're like at this time over giving, over giving. Okay. And with the Eight of Cups, like, again, this is like energy with moving on. So for some of you, I feel like as quick as this person came in and was like all in and acting like they want this and that, like, I feel like it's as quick as they going to like leave. So just be careful if you quickly met a person, especially if you met them during like the retrograde. Six of Wands is here. Then a Hierophant. So you're, this y'all energy, Taurus. So Hierophant... So I feel like for some of you, some of you really could have success when it comes to whatever it is that you want to do. Some of you is love, some of you is relationships, but I feel like some of y'all may have to leave like some, some things behind. Some of y'all could be like, maybe even too critical of people. Like you could be like really focused on like, um, like what they do. And I feel like you really should just use your, use your energy on like, you like giving yourself self-love or focused on like your own goals and things like that for them to come into fruition because i feel like some of you some of y'all could get sidetracked like you you could get into a relationship and then you like get sidetracked on like your goals and dreams or you you put them on hold and you know you kind of like nurture the relationship but i feel like you need to nurture your own selves because i feel like for some of you 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 could want to get into like serious committed relationships like like as soon as you meet a person but i feel like you don't really get a lot of information you don't really get the chance to really like learn that person to really see that they really here just like to teach you a lesson like everybody that come into your life and and uh make you feel good is not here to stay okay so I feel like overall, like you're in your energy. So it's like, I feel like you even have like a lot of people that want a chance with you. I feel like a lot of people want a chance with you, but I feel like you need to like choose wisely. What other messages are there for Taurus? 
two of wands and I see the the fool here. So for some of you, you could have like a person that's genuinely like interested in you, but they may not be your type or they may not be like, I feel like just like your type. They not like your type. And so because they not your type, you don't really take them seriously or either you don't see yourself with them. But I feel like this is the type of person that will like actually marry you. Okay, I feel like some of y'all even with people that want to like get married. But I feel like for some of y'all, I kept, keep looking at the Six of Swords. Like some of y'all are going to walk away from someone that really loves you because you're like you still looking for other things. Like you got your eye on something else and it's a person that really, really loves you and really wants to like give you the world. And it's like real love with them, but you don't. It's like you still out. You still look for other people. Lori, are you a Taurus? Lori Harvey. <laughs> it's like some of y'all is just like walking away. I feel like some of y'all is walking away from like real love, true love. Seven of Wands. Okay, so I feel like some of y'all could even have like people that like try to get you to be with like a certain type. Like people have opinions about like the choices you make when it comes to like either relationships that you get into or decisions that you make or your plans. I feel like you have people that like second guess you. Like it's like they, it's like the energy of like, they don't trust that you're able to make the right decision for you. What? So yeah, I feel like you just have people that just like, they, it's like, when you make a decision or you make a proposition, it's like people that they, they, it's like they always have something to say against what you say. So it was like, you could say, yeah, let's do this at this time and go here or go here at this time. And then they'll say, well, how about let's go this time at, go at this time. And then let's go here. Like, you know, it's just like, they want to be in opposition with you. What other messages are there for Taurus? These cards want to keep going on top of here. Eight of Cups. And then I see the seven of cups. So I feel like for some of you, it's about like, it keep, I keep going back to this. Like some of you are having like these opportunities and I really feel like it's a love opportunity and you choosing, it's like you choosing, but I feel like you, it's like, because you know that you have all these options out here, like you, like some of you just move on quick. And it could be because you don't see yourself with that person. You don't see yourself being successful with that person or they are not successful. And so you feel like you want more. So I feel like some of y'all is just like, I feel like some of y'all is just out to get like, it's like you out to get with yours. That's the energy I'm getting. Let me pull it. Excuse me, let me pull it real quick. Yeah, it's Libra here. I see this like scale here. So for some of you, you definitely need to uh, weigh like it, weigh your pros and cons when it comes to like uh, relationships or making decisions, whatever it is, like it's scale. So it's like you need to make a decision. Um, and when you're making your decision, your pros should outweigh your cons, okay? Because I feel like some of you, you could be just let, letting like time pass you because you just think that you have all this time. Or I feel like some of you could be just like dragging your feet. Some of you could be dragging your feet in regards to like love or um, ideas, something like that. I feel like some of y'all is just like dragging your feet and you're really not... Um, really not like making plans or, or decisions the way you should. And I feel like you really have the potential to be successful, but I feel like some of y'all is just like you, your, your focus could be on just like, uh, something else. So I, I feel like you, some of y'all just in your comfort zone to where like you comfortable where you are, but I feel like it's time to like make plans. It's the will of fortune here. It's time for you to like move forward, grow and expand and really take action on your plans. Okay. So those are your messages. Leave me some comments, like, share, and subscribe to the Crohn's Way channel. Be well.